Welcome to Latte Laboratory. That's a tongue twister, isn't it, huh? Welcome back, and uh, we have the question today that was posed by one Tim B. Which one of the carafes, thermal carafes, from the coffee makers is going to keep the coffee hotter over the same period of time? That is the question we posed. How are we going to do this test? We have the coffee heated up to 205 degrees, 1.7 liters. We're putting the, oh, not the coffee, it's water. We're putting the water in, and we are checking the temperature the moment it goes in. Then we are writing that down, and then we're gonna check each one of these 30, 60, 90, and 120 minutes. Um, let me tell you my hypothesis about what I think is going to happen. And the, let me just tell you that these were all at room temperature, overnight in the same room, same temperature. I looked at these, and this is not scientific at all, I looked at them and I gauged just by looking which one had the most air. There's an inner wall, outer wall. Which one had the most air there? And I think that the Mocha Master and the Breville, and we have the Mocha Master going, the Bonavita, the Oxo, and the Breville. I think these two are gonna be neck and neck for number one. I think the Bonavina is going to be number two, and I think the OXO is going to be number three. And I say that because the OXO seemed to have the thinner wall. That's the only reason I'm saying it. So I am going to finish off and get the, uh, let's get this one. It's just coming back up, the, just kicked in. Good deal. Whoa, it's alive. We're filling each one up. We check the temperature once it's full and put the lid on and let it sit. Two oh one point two. Whoop, 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 come on. There, 201.2 on the Technivorm. Okay, so we're gonna check them at 30 minute intervals, like I said, and we'll get back to you with the results at 120 minutes. Woohoo! The results are in, the test is done. Two hours later, what do we got? I lined them up here from hottest to the coolest. I won't say winner to loser. Well, I guess I just did. So the uh, Breville lost 11.9 degrees. The Technivorum lost 15.7 degrees. The Bonavita lost 17.5 degrees. And then the Oxo bringing up the rear lost 19.1 degrees. This still, and what the range is, it's from 182.8 up to 190. That's still in a drinkable range. 150, 160 is really quite drinkable for a cup of coffee. So there are no winners or losers. There's just differences going on here. But this comes from the grind control, typical Technivorm, typical Bonavita, and the OXO, the smaller version. So that's the results. We did it. We found out what the deal is, and we were very scientific about it. We want to make sure that we keep all the parameters the same in these and the times and everything else so that everybody has a fighting chance. Everybody in the pool, swim for the end. Do a lap or two, right? So uh, send us in any tests that you would like us to perform, anything like this that you might do in a lab that doesn't, not a crew review of something, but something where you want us to just figure out how it's going to work, something like that. Send it in. Comments down below. Put it. Post it. Subscribe. And thanks a lot for watching. I love this new series. I think this is going to be good for you guys because, it, hey, we get this all the time. Somebody finally wrote in and asked us for it, and we did it. So thanks a lot for sending it in. Stay tuned for the next one.